Hey everyone, in the following videos, I am going to show you how I build my own mountain bike crank. In this first video, I will show you the process that I used to fabricate a chain ring. I first started by drawing the chain ring using Kasha which is a 3D drawing software. I used the machinery handbook to find all of the dimensions for a bicycle chain. The pitch is half an inch. There are 32 tooth on this chain ring. I was highly inspired by the race face cinch chain ring. The method I used to fabricate it isn't very popular or efficient. I wanted to use different machines then just a CNC mill. Because I am using a wire EDM machine, I had to build a fixture that would hold the chain ring in place when the wire EDM cuts the teeth. Let's start by cutting the fixture with the plasma cutter. I am using a 1 quarter inch aluminium plate. I then had to drill 4 holes per plate to be able to bolt the fixtures to the machine. Here are all the programs related to the fabrication of the piece. At first, when we were cutting on the plasma, the torch would clip one piece after it had cut it. Because of that, we had an offset in between the cuts, but we were able to fix it. Here you can see the fixture in the wire EDM machine that is used to hold the rough cut of the chain ring. The wire EDM machining works by creating an electrical discharge between the wire or the electrode and the workpiece. Due to the inherent properties of the process, wire EDM can easily machine complex parts and precision components out of hard conductive materials, like in our case, 304 stainless steel and 1045 steel. For the final product, I am using a quarter inch plate of 304 stainless steel. After cutting all of the rough shapes of the chain rings, I grinded them to take out the rough edges. The next step was to center it on the CNC mill so that I can cut a 1 inch hole in the middle. This step makes it easier to center it on a lathe. <laughs> I am now creating a fixture that I will place in a lathe. This fixture will hold down a chain ring in place so that I can cut an angle of 8 degrees on the extremity.
Here is the final product, a 32 tooth chain ring that is made out of 304 stainless steel. It was made to fit up to a 12 speed chain.